Also out of Madison County, the case against a man charged in a deadly home invasion will move forward. Counsel for Shannon Gilday says he's mentally ill and his plea should reflect that. But this morning, a judge would not allow him to change his plea and entered a not guilty plea on his behalf. LEX 18's Evelyn Schultz explains in our big story today at noon. Prosecutors say they want more evidence. Shannon Gilday is mentally ill. Last Thursday, attorneys for the Commonwealth objected when Gilday's attorney announced their intent to plead guilty, but mentally ill. Today, prosecutors described the move as performative, but defense attorney Tom Griffiths says it's the only option for Gilday, who's charged with murder. Police say he's the man who broke into the home of former state lawmaker C. Wesley Morgan and shot and killed his daughter, Jordan Morgan. Investigators believe Gilday was was distraught over the idea of nuclear war and targeted Morgan's home because of the bunker inside. He answered all of the questions from the police officers. A lot of people don't, a lot of people remain silent. He didn't. He explained it and what he said makes no sense. And his actions leading up to the shooting make no sense. He's mentally ill, and if necessary, if we're required to, we will show that and prove that in court. Griffith says this is a case that should not go to trial, as there's no dispute over what happened. But last week, Morgan told LEX 18 he hoped the judge would not accept the mental insanity plea. A pretrial conference is scheduled for July 22nd. In Richmond, I'm Evelyn Schultz. Back to you.